Okay, let's cross to Belfast now where we can speak to Russia analyst Alexander Titov. Thanks so much uh, for being with us. What did you think when you heard Navalny was hospitalized with suspected poisoning? Well, I was hoping that it would be anything serious, but uh, reports uh, confirm that it is actually very serious and he is really fighting for his life. Uh, and this comes at the point when, um, you know, the former Soviet sp uh, space is already kind of um, in high turmoil with uh, uh, <clears throat> what's happening in Belarus. And now we have also a major crisis in Russia around Navalny as well. Right. As you mentioned, Belarus, I mean, there are some suspicions out there that if he was targeted, it could be for what some were expecting him to do in Belarus, uh, assisting the opposition, in other words, to potentially help get rid of Alexander Lukashenko. Uh, would that make sense to you? Not really. I mean, I don't think he can be a major player in Belarus at this point. I mean, it's um, uh, at the moment it's a kind of tightly controlled um, uh, local affair in Belarus, but as a kind of potential for uh, the same type of protest filling into Russia at some point, um, that he certainly would be the leading figure there. So not so much in Belarus, but uh, as a potential, uh, same thing happening in Russia, he certainly would be um, um, uh, the leading figure there. Okay. And as we heard, you know, in Simon's report, the list just keeps growing. I mean, it really does actually go all the way back to 2003. You have these targeted attacks and poisonings of, of Kremlin opponents. Some died, some survived, but uh, there never really seems to be clear accountability. Do you think that's why this potentially continues to happen? Well, I mean, there are, you know, you, you have to tell a, a different case, a different apart. You know, obviously, uh, you automatically you can assume that it's, you know, Kremlin is doing, but, you know, obviously there are lots of other um, uh, f uh, actors in Russia who are not um, strange to... Um, <clears throat> violent means and you know you have a lot of contract killings in russia and so forth and of course navalny is a high profile figure not least for his anti-corruption investigation so he would have crossed a lot of different um you know stepped on different toes of very important people so i think we need more um, um information what actually happened to him but yeah basically there there is a quite a kind of a long culture of uh uh, both political and business assassinations in Russia, and uh, you know that's kind of fits in the world with the raw pattern, uh, both by the state actors, which kind of been proven in the Skripals and the Litvinenko case, mm -hmm. and other ones uh, inside Russia as well, which can be both political and uh, kind of business related as well. Right, the pattern, you know, really intimidates, though, to say the least. So. You know, if this is the case uh, with Navalny, Navalny, and actually we may never know, even if it is discovered that he was poisoned, you might never know who actually did it. But still, what do you fear it could do to what opposition is left in Russia? Well, I think uh, you have a very serious kind of escalation of what opposition politics in Russia, because essentially until now, I mean, there were high profile assassinations, Usually they were, uh, Politkovsky and uh, Nemtsov in particular, usually they were linked to the North Caucasus uh, and uh, Ramzan Kadyrov there. Uh, this one, if it's, it happens something we, uh, differently, would be a major escalation in a sense that uh, Kremlin always preferred to deal with Navalny by other means, by uh, arrests, by uh, giving him sentences, by um, launching various uh, claims on him um, uh, for, for uh, money and so forth. Uh, they never really moved to this, uh, you know, outright association of a major um, position leader so far, uh, at least um, clear cut without a Chechen connection. So that would be a very kind of a sad day for Russia if it did happen with, with the Kremlin. Uh, and Navalny, as I said, was very kind of a uh, you know, totemic figure in that respect, that he was very fearless and um, 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 unbowed critic of, of, of the Kremlin. And it's, I mean, I hope okay. that it's something else rather than just Kremlin's hit on him. Indeed. Okay, Alexander, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us, as always, from Belfast.